So the next activity for you in this section is something pretty exciting. I'm going to be asking you to use what you've learned in this section with live queries to create a real time chat application. Now to help you along with that, I provided a JS bin with most of the functionality that you'll need already present. So we've got uh, two input forms, the, your name and the message you want to display. We've got the send button. We've also got a ping button here. Just ignore that for now. We're going to be using the same JS bin for the next section on cloud code. And, and in the next section, I'm going to be asking you to implement this ping function. So you can ignore it right now. So when you first load the JS bin, you should see something like this. If you're seeing ASIM, this is a message in the messages list, then that means you haven't clicked run with JS. So make sure you click run with JS. And if it's running fine, you should, you should either see in the messages list nothing if you've never sent a message or a list of your old messages. And what you need to do, you need to provide yourself a name. So give it a message there and just say, what do you want to say? So hello. And you can see it pops up the message. But what's exciting about this, if I actually pop this out with a live preview and then I'll put one on the left, let me get another one and I'll put it, put this one out on the right let me pop that out with the live preview as well and let's add person one on the left hand side and pers person two on the right hand side so the goal the eventual goal of what i want you to create here is a real-time chatting application so if one person in one window sent hello that should be printed out in the other window automatically And then again, you can start having a conversation back and forth. Pretty exciting stuff, eh? And that's what I want you to implement. Okay, so this is the actual code that you should be getting to begin with. Again, remember to flesh out to add in the correct app ID and server URL. I've implemented a lot of this functionality already, okay? So what the application does initially is it loads all the existing messages from the server. It then subscribes for new messages. The code at the end of here is just the jQuery code to listen to the form inputs and send the message. So when a user actually types something in and clicks send, it calls send message. But you, don't, you can look through the code and, and see how it's working, but the only code that I want you to implement is the code that should exist in the subscribe messages function and the delete message function. So that's it and good luck in creating your first chat application using PARS and live queries.